third party at E3. Now I moved it down so you can't see the next one because that's how that's how things work. Now there's a lot of stuff going on and I tried to pick something from EA and then from just other devs but I don't really have anything from Ubisoft because a prediction that South Park is probably going to get a release date and is going to be shown is a, a shitty prediction. Of course it is. And as far as other things from Ubisoft, I don't really know. Watch Dogs 2, we already know. So there's a lot of, I can't really predict a lot of surprises there. Same with EA, I don't really know what's going on. We're going to see a lot of Mass Effect. I think we'll finally see that, that game from the Burnout devs, or the Criterion, that they showed two years ago is this weird tech footage of people jumping and flying around on ATVs and uh, wing suits and shit. I think now's the time. It's been, again, two years since that. Nothing to show. I think they've done uh, one of the, the Need for Speed games. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. It's about time. It's about time that you finally do something. If you're not going to give me burnout again, which is baffling, then give me something from the team. That's not Need for Speed. Give me something. Now the other big area for me is Resident Evil. Now we know this is going to be a big year of Resident Evil because Capcom said so. Now we got Umbrella Corps coming out in June. Sometime, that's a multiplayer only shooter, whatever, and I'm only vaguely interested. But, I believe a new Resident Evil will be shown this year. Not a shock there. But, I don't think it's going to come out this year, despite them saying it will. I think Capcom will probably come out on Microsoft press conference. As they do with Resident Evil 6, was it, Microsoft? And they'll, and Dead Rising 3 was an Xbox One exclusive. Although Street Fighter V is Sony, so they're they're kind of hedging their bets. They're gonna say, "Oh, it's coming out this year," but I don't believe it. I don't think they will. I just don't trust it. I don't. I, I'm very suspicious of that, but I do believe it's a reboot. And unlike what other people are saying that reboot do entirely new characters, I think this is gonna be a reboot and basically be in a reimagining of. The outbreak, not necessarily the mansion, but the outbreak itself and the stars, members of stars, which is the police force in Raccoon City. So Wesker will be there, Leon will be there, Chris will be there. Whoa, Rebecca, what's her name? Damn it, Claire. Yes, no, that's that's Chris's sister. The other, what's her fucking? It doesn't matter. Alright, it doesn't matter. But her. What's her name? Jill. They're going to be there. And maybe this is something that kind of has portions that take place in the mansion and also in the city during the outbreak. But I think it, it'll be something along those lines. And, and go back to the roots. They've been saying that. Then they're, maybe they'll finally listen. I don't know. With uh, canned camera angles. I think that's a very poss big possibility. But I don't think they'll leave aiming like it was in Resident Evil 1 through uh, 3 and Veronica. This is something where you could have the canned camera angles and then you press a button to bring up your gun and now you're in third person aiming. Something along those lines. Maybe you can move slowly while you're aiming. Maybe you can't. I think that's very possible. Why wouldn't you have a new Resident Evil that does that? But again, they'll say it's this year vaguely. Not with a date. But like, yeah, fall. I don't, I don't think so. I, Capcom, with how they released every game in the history of the company, they've never done that. And everyone gets all excited. Like, Bethesda did it. They announced Fallout 4 and it came out six months later. Yeah, but, but okay, we knew it existed for years. And it's Bethesda making... Fallout 4, like that, just because one company did it doesn't mean all these companies are now going to start announcing a game and six months out. Like, something like Resident Evil deserves a campaign a little more than that. But I'm hoping I'm wrong because I would love to have some Resident Evil. But that's my next prediction more Resident Evil. 
So they've also discussed Resident Evil Revelations, which is kind of a spin-off series. And I suspect that last one came out in February of last year. And that's a continuation of the main line of Resident Evil. So this won't be part of the reboot. There could be a new Revelations coming. And I think it'll be episodic again. But maybe this time the game won't be finished and you're just releasing it over a month. It'll actually be episodic, maybe larger chunks. Who knows? This is crazy prediction. I should have put this under crazy. Because they're crazy things. But I think when, when Capcom says we're having a big year for Resident Evil, there's no bigger way than to have a movie and like 16 Resident Evil games. There's no, there's no other way. Now maybe the re new reboot comes out this year and Revelations comes out next year. Maybe I swoop them, swoop them, swap them. Who knows? Certainly not me. And then the re uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, I think will be shown. It's time for that to, to reveal itself. They've put out the RE1 remake, RE0 remake, RE2 remake, 2017, probably, maybe, maybe early in the year. It could be, eh, maybe in October, but that would be like three Resident Evil games in the span of a year. So who knows what they're doing? I don't know. They probably don't even know. Capcom does weird things, like release Street Fighter V without a bunch of content. But I'm hoping. I love Resident Evil, so I'm really hoping they get their shit together and at least two of these things happen. Two of the three games reveals here happen. The Revelations, shockingly, not a lot of people played Resident Evil Revelations 2. It's fantastic. One of my favorite games of last year. And it's probably the closest we've come to Resident Evil 4 since Resident Evil 5. It's very close to it. It has some fantastic moments. Definitely if you're a fan of Resident Evil 4, play Revelations 2. You can play Revelations 1 as well. Play the console version. Don't play the 3DS. The 3DS one's fine, but play the console version. Now about to piss some people off, maybe. Persona 5 gets a US release date, and it's not day and date with Japan. I'm saying December just as a kind of vague. It seems like JRPGs kind of like to come out in December. Um, what was it? Xenoblade Chronicles X came out in December this year, or last year. I don't know how years work. So it's entirely possible this one could come out. Now, I believe they did say they wanted to make this a worldwide release, but why would you do your whole Japanese trailer and put the release date for Japan? Knowing that you're going to have a worldwide, re worldwide release, why wouldn't you just say it then? Why wouldn't you say then, hey, it's coming out worldwide on the same date? So that's weird. And that could just be a feint on their part to, to, to give doubts and then come out and be like, hey, it is coming out in September. But I think there, it's coming out a couple weeks before Final Fantasy XV, at least in Japan with the date we know. They could possibly want to get out of the way of Final Fantasy XV in the West. Maybe. I also don't trust a lot of companies saying their JRPG is going to be a worldwide release. We still live in a world wide release where a lot of games, a lot of JRPGs like Tales of, well, the Tales of Hysteria came out in January in Japan and October in the United States. Now that's a lot sooner and a lot quicker than uh, Tales of Exilia 1, which was like two years later. So it's getting faster and it's getting better, but even uh, Star Ocean, the new Star Ocean came out a month or two ago in Japan, comes out the end of June here. So it, it's still some time disparity, and I think there's still going to be some time disparity with this. Persona 5 looks great. I think they want to get out of the way of Final Fantasy, and December is kind of enough away from November, which is going to be crazy and fill a bunch of shooting games. As much as I'd love to see it come out in September, I don't buy it. I think they would have already said it. I think they already would have announced it at that reveal trailer. There's, there's no reason to do anything goofy or silly with that. No reason. Now, on another list of things I really hope happen, The Evil Within 2. This is, I feel like this is going to be this year's Dishonored. 
So Dishonored 2 was announced last year at Bethesda's show, coming out this fall. This is going to be shown at this year's E3, come out next fall. Totally suspect it. With all this Resident Evil shit happening, we're going to get another Evil Within as well. Tango Gameworks has been super silent. What else could they be doing? They're making another The Evil Within. It's been two years since it came out this fall. So it have been three years. That's more than enough time. You already have the engine. They were actually using a modified version of Id Tech 5, I believe. It's happening. It's going to happen. We're going to get so many Resident Evil style games. I'm so excited. I'm very excited for this. So good. It's so good for me. If all these things come true. They don't come true. Not, not good. Not very sad. Very sad. Now my crazy prediction. No Rockstar. No. I doubt it. Rockstar has never really showed up to E3. People are saying, oh, they're going to show Red Dead. Uh, three, really. I don't, nah. I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. There's going to be no Rockstar. I don't believe it. I no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put money on this. But I also wouldn't put money on them being there. There's just as enough. There's just as much evidence of them being at the show as there as them not being at the show. And I, I don't. Why? Why? They don't need to go to E3. They don't need to go to E3. Hey, Will. You're late. Just in time for me to make fun of Rockstar. Now, I, Rockstar or what? GTA Five? Not. Never was at E3. GTA 4 was vaguely at E3. Uh, that was the one where he, like, the one guy had the tattoo of GTA 4 on his arm. That could be a thing. I don't know. It's a weird happening going on with that. But I don't believe it. I just, I 100% do not believe it. No. No, they can, Rockstar and uh, 2K, or Take-Two, or someone, can do this whenever. They don't need E3, especially this E3, when EA isn't even there. They're not even on the show floor. Nintendo doesn't do a show. A bunch of other companies are just kind of dicking around, doing their own thing. They don't need to be here. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I think they're more likely to show up at Gamescom, if anywhere. No Rockstar at E3. Will, do you have any E3 predictions? This is your time to shine. This is your time. For E3. For 3, three Wii. Because I don't have any more. I tried to limit it to 5 for each company, except for Zelda, which I went overboard on. And then one crazy prediction. I don't think that's that crazy, though. A lot of people are super excited about Rockstar being there. I, I think they're getting their hopes up for disappointment. That's what I think. That's what I think. I got nothing. What? Got nothing? That's not a lot of stuff. That's a very that's a very low amount of things you have there. Very low amount of things. Do you want me to go through all the other predictions? I'll go through them all really quick. Go through all the E3 predictions I've done in the last hour, super fast. Right? Is that, is that an interesting thing? I don't know. All right. It's not that exciting. I just kind of like having this giant ass Rockstar logo. A game about dank memes. Nah, it's definitely not happening. I'll tell you what, that's, that's definitely not happening. That's like, no. <laughs> you can dream it. But it, it, no. I'm trying to move the chat window down here. Overall, this E3 I don't think is going to be that surprising in terms of The Last Guardian coming out of nowhere or Horizon Zero Dawn coming out of nowhere. I don't, I don't foresee that. Or memes. I don't foresee any memes. Well, there could be memes. I mean, we've had Ridge Racer. We've had Mr. Caffeine. We've had a lot of memes from E3 in the past. So that's, that's entirely possible. Giant enemy crabs. Sony is responsible for a lot of these. 
and Ubisoft. Ubisoft is a mess with their show sometimes. <laughs> we'll probably get a new Raving Rabbids game so that I can fucking never get a goddamn Rayman game ever again. That's not 2D. I don't, the 2D Rayman games aren't very good in my opinion. I don't like them that much. It's probably just me. It's, it's probably just me. I'll try and click on things on my screen here. Uh-oh. Please hold. Boop. <laughs> you missed all the predictions, Will. It's very sad. It's very unfortunate. There, there was a lot of good stuff, a lot of Zelda things going on. A lot of, lot of things. My Xbox ones are a little weak. That's not, I'm not a big Xbox guy. Also, there's a lot unknown. I don't think they're going to show a new Halo. They could. They could do a, uh, a tease for a new Halo, but I don't, I don't know. I think it's too early for that. I don't, I don't think they would. A new franchise. Oh, we'll probably see that ReCore. We'll see ReCore. What's that? Scale bound? Maybe scale bound? I don't know. Eh. There's a thing. There's a thing with the the Batman and the the game channel box. Let's move this out. Let's put a cool picture up. There we go. There you go. Man, yeah, but now, now you can ask me anything. Talk, let's talk about uh, frogs. <laughs> Here, second game. 